everyone, in this video I want to show you how I created the homepage of my portfolio website. I designed my portfolio a few days ago in Webflow. The results were pretty much good. I'm just going to show you how I added animation into my thumbnails and how I laid out all of my case studies together on the homepage so that I have a very nice portfolio homepage website because recruiters just uh, come on your homepage the first thing that they see when they click on your portfolio is the homepage so you need to make sure that the projects that you have on your portfolio are laid out very nicely so let's dive in as I mentioned I created my portfolio in Webflow Webflow is really easy for me to customize and put my content and everything inside so and uh, you can feel free to use whatever tool you're more comfortable with I heard so many designers use Framer or Webflow or Notion even uh, just go with whatever like is easy for you and don't complicate things this is my home page as you can see I have my top navigation here I have a like a short description of what I'm passionate about and what I do I have my title and the uh, years of experience here a summary of what I do and everything and here I have my projects I have for UX UI case studies and uh, there are uh, like um, the design system so as you can see my thumbnail is uh, interactive and it has so many animations which I uh, like added uh, and I just wanted to make my this one this project has a static image I just wanted to make my homepage more exciting and I looked at so many other portfolios to just get a sense of how I can make it more interesting um, so here is the other one and this is another old project and at the bottom of my page I have a scroll animation bar that I have all of my like previous uh, projects it's not projects it's ju just uh, UI design so I have all of them here so that uh, it just makes the whole homepage more interesting and I can show my uh, UI design and visual design skills so and as you can see it has an animation inside so these are just background video i'm gonna show you how i created them uh, moving forward and this is my footer so i have my gmail address here so that recruiters or employers can just contact me right away or clients and then my linkedin medium uh, profile and i have contact cti button here and the rest of the links at the bottom as you can see my homepage is very simple and straight to the point because that should be the way that your homepage should be don't complicate things too much and just go for it you can check the rest of the breakpoints as well so this is the desktop view and this is the laptop and then I need to work on the uh, tablet and mobile as well. The way I added the animated thumbnails on my portfolio homepage is that these are just background videos. So um, I can show you here. For example, you can add a quick stack. So I added this here inside my inner. Here you can check the uh, container from the right side panel as well. So I put the quick stack here and it, it uh, automatically have some cells inside. Uh, some people create CMS collections, but I don't do them because it comes with some limitations. So that's why I just add uh, full stacks here. And then you can click on this icon, edit quick stack, and you can add uh, like uh, rows and also columns. So for my case, I have, let me delete this one. Uh, for my case, I have four projects and that should be your case as well because just three to four projects is enough for UX case studies. And then 
inside each cell so you can see I have one cell here the second cell so I have four rows here as well and I added some top padding here so that it's more interesting and um, yeah so here I I have like one cell the second cell third fourth and then inside this cell I have a thumbnail description title and some text blocks so that I can just uh, give a reference to what this project is about in a two-word summary inside the cell I literally added a background video so here I just added background video you can add the asset from the left panel background video I just dragged it inside the cell and then it says upload video so you can just click on upload video and put your video inside there you need to make sure that the video is less than 30 megabytes it's the maximum for Webflow. Let's say I added my background video and then I added a flex box here because I have three um, like content and they are vertically aligned. So inside the cell, I just add vertical flex box. Inside the same cell and inside the uh, flex block, you can add the paragraph, you can add the heading and then you can add the text blocks for the button so I just went ahead and added my uh, description here which is uh, which in my case is this one this is the paragraph and then my title design systems which is the heading here and then the flex box which is this one and I just added one border and then I changed the color to white with some less opacity and then I rounded the corners so you can just play with it and design the style, the CSS style for that this is what I was referring to for these small tabs I created the animated videos in Figma I created the animated prototypes and I just screen recorded here the first step I did was that here you can see I have all of my animations laid out here. Let me go to the prototype tab. I wired up everything and I just added animated interactions. I created so many animations with my prototypes. If you want to learn how to create animations, I highly recommend checking Figma education video tutorials inside YouTube. They have lots of playlists that you can learn how to just work with prototypes and how to create animations. It's uh, very helpful. I literally just watched that to uh, learn how to create animations. I just screen recorded this page I'm gonna click on play that so it opens up in quick play and then in the edit you uh, click on trim let's say you have a Mac and then you adjust the portion that you want to export and you click on trim and then you just close it and it says save the video I say for example thumbnail one and click on save so I'm saving it in desktop and then I go back to webflow you can just have the moving uh, thumbnail as well so that it just catches attention instead of having a static thumbnail Thank you so much guys for watching this video until the end I highly recommend you to watch this video as well I just talk about my first portfolio website that got me hired at a tech startup in just one week See you in the next video, bye!